guys welcome to my channel today's video i'm super excited i am going to be reviewing apologia's math 3. i want to say thank you to apologia for sending me this to review and share with you guys i do have an apollo link apologia link down below um, so if you guys are interested in checking out their math or their science which i've already shared um, use that link down below now something really important and really cool and why I'm, t I'm sharing this video sooner rather than later is if you decide you're like, you know what, I really like Apology as Math, I really like Apology as Science, you, if you buy a math and a science, you get 20% off, which is a huge discount on their really already good homeschool prices. So use that link down below. If you like their math, you like their science, bundle it together and you can get 20% off until May 31st. At the end of this video, I'm gonna do a quick flip through of the workbook so you can kind of get a better idea. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. So as you all know, we're using Apologia for our science curriculum. And I didn't even realize they had a math curriculum until I was talking to someone at Apologia. They just released uh, Math 5, which I have another video coming out on that soon. So if you're interested in the fifth grade, uh, make sure you subscribe because I'll be sharing that one. Um, but they have a third grade one as well. Now, it's no secret we have done our fair share of trying out homeschool math curriculum. So I have some pretty strong opinions and thoughts on you know what I think is good in a curriculum and what I think it's not good in a curriculum. So right off the bat, I will tell you, so when you get the apology of curriculum, there's two separate things you need. You need the student workbook and the teacher guide. Already, I love that the teacher guide is separate. When curriculums have the teacher guide like smushed on the teacher or on the student pages, it's like all in one. It can be really overwhelming, especially for a younger kid, like to look at all those things. And as much as you can tell them, don't look at all that stuff, their kids, they're going to look at it. So that was one thing like right away, I was just like, oh, that's really cool that they did that. The um, child or the student book is spiral bound and it's like good quality spiral. Um, if you've been around enough homeschool curriculum, you start noticing things like binding. And um, I really like this, uh, the coil binding of this. It's all in color. So really eye catching, beautiful pages. The pages are not overwhelming or too busy at all. And that is so appreciated when curriculums are just like way too much on a page, especially when you do like color and pictures plus all the work, it can get overwhelming. This is not like that at all. It's really good. The practice for the kids is super simple. It looks like one, maybe two pages at max. Every lesson seems to start with like a fun hands-on activity. So if you have kids that like manipulatives, but like not traditional manipulatives, like things you have around the house manipulatives, you're really gonna like this curriculum. So here's a fun activity. Um, this is, so this is lesson nine, adding three digit numbers in the vertical format what you need uno cards so i know most of you guys have uno cards if you don't it might be something you want to pick up but this is what i mean it's not like traditional manipulatives they're doing fun little activities with uno cards so right off the bat you start the lesson with a fun hands-on activity even though there's that separate teacher guide the lessons for the child at least in this third grade lesson so they start down here so here's that fun uno lesson and then it says okay adding three digit numbers in this lesson we will review and it's talking directly to the student so you could either read that to your child or you could have them read it independently then it breaks them down examples step by step and then it goes to their practice simple easy lessons like they're not overcomplicated. they're simple right into lesson practice and that is it so in the level three they have a hundred lessons and there's 13 chapters and then there's a chapter review so there's 13 chapter reviews and a hundred lessons 
They recommend doing on a four, four days a week, which would fit into most homeschools. Even though there's all those like hands-on activities, it's pretty open and go with minimal prep. I mean, they, they provide you worksheets in your teacher's guide to print out for some of those activities, um, but others you would just need to find around the house. This is a really interesting approach. It takes both the mastery approach and kind of the spiral review. So. They really want your kids in these early years to focus on mastering those facts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and mastering them, but then they, they, want, they don't want them to lose those. So then there's that constant review as well, which I really appreciate. Right now they offer levels one through five. So first grade to fifth grade, if you're on like a traditional grading scale. Now the teacher's guide. So this is the teacher guide and answer key. This is what has like kind of your lesson information. It has those extra like things if you need to print out or cut out things. This is also in color, which is pretty cool. Most teacher guides don't come in color. Um, it does have a week by week daily schedule. How cool is this? So like I said, they recommend that four days a week little check boxes, how to complete everything. So if you followed their schedule, they have you doing 30 weeks of coursework. It gives you a breaks down by unit, like what's gonna be taught in that unit and a supply list. So this supply list for unit one is note cards, paperclip, dice, base 10 blocks, pennies, dice, um, colored pencil, scissors, glue, uno cards, and pennies. I think I already said that. So most of that I know we have. If you're a homeschool parent, you have most of that. So there's not an additional manipulative, manipulative kit. There's no fancy manipulatives. I think the only thing on here is the base 10 blocks. But honestly, if you've been teaching any sort of elementary math, most curriculums require those, or honestly, you should be using those anyways. If you aren't aware, Apologia is a religious Christian based curriculum. This is teaching math with creation. So if you're looking for secular, this is not the option for you. But if you don't mind or appreciate, there are some Bible verses throughout the teacher's guide and student workbook. The teacher's guide is so simple, guys. Here's chapter one, lesson one. You have that little paragraph up top that you would read. And then you have the answers to your students' pages right below. It's so simple and easy. Now, I haven't done enough of these lessons to like know long term, like, is it teaching your child enough? But again, remember, it teaches your child in their book too. So they have the lesson flow, the teaching, and then you have some like teacher type notes and guides as well. So you're kind of getting two resources to help teach the lesson. In the back are those like fun things. So here's multiplication battleship game, which is so much fun. And just, yeah, different cutouts and things. Again, they're all in color. So these are things that you'll be needing for a lot of those hands-on activities. So looking through the entire curriculum, I can say I love that the teacher's guide is separate. I love the simplicity of not having super overwhelming student pages or even teacher pages. I really like that it starts each activity with a hands-on lesson. Now, my <laughs> opposing comment to that is not all kids would like that. I will tell you off the bat, some of my kids, I have three kids, if you are new to my channel, um, would not like that. They would not like the daily hands-on activities. Whereas my youngest son right now, he will only do things if there's hands-on activities. So I think that that is very specific for certain kids. Um, you know, and I would say you could just skip it, but you know, you really have to understand how this curriculum was made. Um, so this is level three, which is similar to third grade. I've looked at numerous other third grade curriculums. I've watched my children go through other third grade curriculums, and I can say this one seems on par with third grade standards, um, the just normal skills, right? So those refining of addition and subtraction, especially of larger numbers, um, getting into your multiplication facts and division facts, fractions, all of that is being presented in this course. And again, that's really the philosophy is in this to really master 
those basic facts. And as someone who is now watching, you know, a child go to older grades of math, you have to know those facts. Those facts are used in all future math. So if you don't know them, you're not gonna scoot on by. You need those facts. So this set, the teacher's guide and the student workbook is $76 if you just buy it together. Um, I, like I said, if you're wanting to use their science too, then you get 20% off the math and the science together as part of their bundle deal. I think it's an amazing deal. The only thing that I would say that I would recommend or don't like about this curriculum is that there's not um, video lessons. But I don't know if it needs them because it has the student uh, lessons in the student workbook. So I don't know, especially at a third grade level, how important that would be. Um, but when I review the fifth grade one, I will be, share, be sure to share more of my thoughts on that as well. Here is the flip through, guys. Have a great day and we'll chat soon. Give me love, give me all your love. Oh, cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright
remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Here, hanging on, waiting for your call.